So last year in 2019, Timothy Shamalot wore this black sequin Virgil Abloh by Louis Vuitton harness and I think we were all pretty much obsessed. It's an all black look and he looked awesome. So I decided to redo it myself. Um, I took a regular tank top that I know fits me and I draped a muslin over top. I just traced the outlines of it but I brought the neckline a little bit higher because I wanted mine a little higher. And I just traced out the shape that I wanted, cut it out of the muslin and that was my template. So I went to Mood and I was able to find a perfect black sequin. It's got a multi-tone. I think they they put the sequins on in different directions so it gives it a bit more dimension. You can see it kind of looks like a giraffe print almost, which is what I wanted. So here I am just cutting out uh, the sequins, the sequin material with the template that I created out of the muslin on my mannequin. So I'm just like a very visual first person, so I like to put things on like the mannequin after I've kind of cut them, just so I can see that like everything's lining up right and everything's starting to look good. So I decided to line my harness in a black satin. So I cut off the same exact shape as I did with the black sequins. And here I'm just finishing off the raw edge of the satin. Otherwise, it's just gonna be all frayed and messy. So I basically, sewed the entire harness of the black sequin and I did the same for the lining. Two separate pieces basically. The only thing is I left the left shoulder open because that's where I'm going to add velcro so I can get in and out of this thing. So right here all I'm doing is sewing the lining that's already been constructed and the sequin harness that's already been constructed with wrong sides together. This project only took me a couple hours, honestly. I wanted to keep it pretty simple. Um, so this is just a straight stitch that I'm doing along all of the edges of the black sequin and the lighter and attaching the two together, like I said, with wrong sides together. So right here, this is just a scratchy piece of Velcro. This is the back piece of the harness, and this is the left shoulder seam. So I've extended a little bit beyond just a half inch. Normally you'd have just a half inch seam allowance. I added a little bit more at this left shoulder so that I can have the piece kind of overlap, the Velcro. So I've already put on that scratchy piece on the back and there's the fluffy piece. And here I've already done a rolled hem on that so that it's not like a, a raw edge. Um, and I'm just covering that rolled hem with the fluffy piece of the Velcro that it basically is just gonna overlap that back piece and we're gonna have a nice flat seam there.